see. Ten ten five. I saw Celeste turn. You guys remember what an isosceles was? Two sides are equal. Two sides are equal. Okay, um, we're supposed to find the measures of the angles. Any ideas? Well, on an isosceles, you can draw in the altitude and it splits it into two congruent triangles. And then you can use right triangle trigonometry to help you find some stuff. Okay, if this is 5, what is this right here? 2.5. Okay. Please tell me you guys remember how to do trigonometry. How do I find this angle right here? Okay, relative to this, so we've got a right triangle here, right? Relative to this angle, this is the what side? Adjacent. And this is the hypotenuse. Which trig function? Oh, cosine. Yeah, you might write down Sokoto if you're not sure about that either. Cosine of the angle equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Then what did we do there? Alright. Plug that in for more. I'm warm again. Alright, I'm in radians. Should have printed out the answer sheet. So that would be this angle. How about this angle? Yeah, same thing. I saw the triangles have the same base angles. Also, these two triangles are identical. Uh, and how could I find the vertex angle? 180 minus these two, which are 151. 180 minus 151. Yay! Pretty sure it sounds open. Alright, any questions on that? Can you turn that off, please? Turn it off? Start calling Grandma or Ava, Karen. Why does she complain about it? Too? She is always cold, and so is my grandma. At a distance of a hundred meters, the angle of elevation of the tree. So, why don't you guys read number two and see if you can get the picture? Draw a picture on your own. Everybody, try number two. to the tree is 100 meters, that would be this one. Or if they meant the distance to the top of the tree is 100 meters, that would be this one. I know. That doesn't have anything to do with this. So, I'm not sure if they meant the 100 ones here or here. I did the bottom. I did the bottom. The way they word it, it says the... 
they start talking about the top of the tree. I would guess you're probably right though. Okay, angle of elevation just means the angle you look up the tree, so that'd be 28 degrees. Okay, so how can we find the height of the tree there? Yeah, opposite is what we're looking for, opposite of this angle, and adjacent is what we have. That would be tangent. How did we solve this? Times 100. <coughs> what if it was the other way around? What if it was tangent 20 equals 100 over x? How do we solve that? Right. Uh, she said 100 divided by tangent 20. These two switch places if the variable is in the denominator. But in this case, you get rid of divide by 100 if you multiply by 100. Like so. That is that. A regular pentagon is to describe the circle gradius four. How many are the pentagon? What's a pentagon? Five. You don't really need a circle on this one, but. Okay, it says the radius is five. That means if you you go down to there, it's five. Find the area. You guys remember how we did this? Okay, we might split up into five triangles. Find, found the area of one triangle. Wait, this was an area problem, right? Yeah. Okay. There's a formula we probably used. Um, so to use this triangle area formula, you need side angle side. You need two sides of a triangle and the angle between. So really we only need that little sucker right there. How do we find that angle? 360 divided by 5. Yeah. 360 divided by 5, because there's 360 in a full circle. In this case, it's split into 5. Okay, so it's 1 half times side times side times side of 72. That would almost give us the answer. Anybody know it's wrong? I mean, the final. Yeah. This only gives us the area of one triangle. And yeah, there's 5. Identical triangles, so we will plot that by five. We split it up into two triangles. We want the area of the whole thing. So how did we split it up? You can kind of use that right angle there. And then you have two triangles. And so if we just do the area of both triangles, that would do it. So how can I find the area of this little right triangle at the bottom?
So to use that other triangle formula, we need side, angle, side. We have side. Do we have angle right here? No. Not yet. Do we have this side? Mm -hmm. Not yet. How can I find this side? Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem. 7 squared plus 24 squared equals this squared. So basically we have to do 7 squared plus 24 squared square root. Trey, how do you say square root? Square root. Why? Is somebody say that weird? Yeah, your sister. What did she say? Square root. Oh. I think Drew says that too. I don't know. <clears throat> I think I told you the story. It was like a game here. Um. <laughs> she said that, and then. Emily was like, square root. And uh, she was like, Corey's like, no, shut up, I hate you. <laughs> so dramatic. <laughs> so now every time somebody says square root, root, she says square root. All right, how do we find this angle right here? Okay, we can use trigonometry to find this angle and then just do 120 minus this angle to get that angle. So, relative to this angle, we have the opposite adjacent. So that would be tangent. And the angle equals that. So, we would do tangent inverse. 16.26. Alright, we'll call it 16.3. Therefore, this angle up here is 120 minus that, so it would be 103.7. Radio station. The buzz. Alright, so now we have side, angle, side, and we can use that little formula. So it's 1 half times side, times side, times sine of 103.7, whatever that is. That would be this area, so we'd add 84 to that, and that would be our answer. Challenge for Leo. <laughs> Leo, how many times have we done this? You know the rules. No, you don't get three. Okay, actually, before we do this one, let's talk about. Uh, I guess we did law. Did we do law of sines first? It doesn't really matter. Alright, you guys remember law of cosines? Okay, uh, this would be used to help you solve a triangle in a side angle side situation. You guys know what I mean by side angle side? Um, if you had like, you know, this side, I think we kind of just talked about it, this side and like this angle, um, this formula would help you find that side. Okay, law of cosines and law of sines are not just used in right triangles, they can be used in any triangle. Uh, you could find these angles using law of sines. 
after you get this side. You can use blob signs. Okay, so this is for side angle side, but there's also a lot of cosines for side side side, like if you know all three sides of the triangle. Uh, and that was cosine of C. So C would be <clears throat> the angle, and to use this formula, you have to do cosine inverse of all this jazz. To use this formula, since C squared equals all this, you have to do the square root, root of all that. Then if you have like, uh, I guess just any other situation, you can use law of signs. So that'd be like, this one was much simpler. So on this number five, it says how many different triangles can be constructed using the given information. So let's draw this little picture right here. You feel like it's two? Um, so they say it's called triangle PQR. We're just kind of making one up here. So little piece. Uh, would be side P, which would be across from angle P. Little Q, and then angle Q is 74. Okay, so basically what you do is you kind of start trying to solve the triangle. Let's start with this angle here. So we could use, this is not side angle side, it's not side side side, it's like side side angle. Um, we can use law of cosine, or sorry, law of sines. So sine of 74 over 5 equals sine of Q over 4. Alright, how do we solve an equation like this? Cross multiply, there you go. So we're going for Q, right? So how do I get rid of this 5? That's gone. Got sine of Q equals all that jazz. So um, what do we do at this point?
So if it works, basically, I mean, at least one triangle is possible. If you get an error message, uh, that means no triangles are possible. And it's possible that there's two triangles that would work from this. So basically what you do is you do 180 minus this angle. Kind of like as if this were the uh, reference angle like we did yesterday. Uh, 180 minus 50.3 is like 127.7. Uh, if that angle would work with the other angle that we know is there, then it would make another triangle. Uh, but 127.7 plus 74 is more than 180 degrees. So this angle is not possible. So there's only one possibility on that triangle. The answer is no. I kind of doubt I put one of those on there, to be honest, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and go to number six. So we can be... As long as it's coming out the top end, we're fine. I should have recorded me saying that. <laughs> Do you like that one, Allison? Yeah. Grow up, Allison. So immature. All right. Huh? I was joking, Allison. Okay, six, observers, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I think we're doing that airplane thing. How far is the plane from A and B? Observer A and observer B. person A and from person B. All right, so basically it's law of sines, law of cosines, dealing law. Now, I could use law of sines if I know this angle, because you have to have like an angle on the side. Um, and an angle side. So how, how do I find that angle? 180 minus those two. I think you guys did well on this test, maybe, I feel like. 65. Uh, yeah, that's right. We're gonna try doing some head math. Wow. Okay, then how would that set up now? Um. Sine of 65, what? Uh, Over 30. Yeah. If I want to find X, uh, maybe I should have called it B. Sine of 75. Yeah. Don't stop me now. 
we have spent an inordinate amount of time talking about people's bodily functions in this class. <laughs> Guess what the number one was? Farting? No. What? Lydia's hiccups. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not, as, not as much this year, because... Not after lunch. Do you still hiccup after lunch? You're I think you're a lie. Huh? Oh you're my three gosh. Hour she burped through the entire Maybe once or twice. That's so disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> she like blew it on her friends. <laughs> <laughs> she burps and then blows it on Ava. Yeah. Ava, Aaron. That's so loud. <laughs> she burped through an entire history. <laughs> when you guys were gone, it was so bad. Like, it was loud. I used to have Skylar after lunch, like in middle school. You know where I'm going with this. Probably. She, uh, she had belching issues. I remember trying to teach her this is how you like don't belch as loudly. She did not uh, she did not take the lesson. Yeah. <laughs> she even like forged a letter from her parents saying <laughs> like, <laughs> kind of like a doctor's note. Like it's a condition. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually kind of fun. <laughs> she just told me that this year, actually. Uh, what you believe? Wait, you thought it was real? Yeah, I didn't really like, read the note, uh, but I thought she had told her parents I'd been getting on to her, which I kind of hadn't, but like, <laughs> stopped being so loud. <laughs> I didn't actually look at the note, though. <laughs> um, oh yes, so for the Y, you're going to do the same thing. Let's just keep on rolling. Oh, this is what you plug in the calculator. You wouldn't have to do sine inverse on this one because it's not sine of something equals, it's just X equals. All right. All right. Uh, okay. So this one uh, is number seven. It says, "What's the largest? The measure of the largest angle? Which of these angles would have to be the largest? Do you guys know that? Uh, top one. Top one. Yeah, the largest angle opens up to the largest side. If you think about it, it makes sense. Big angles open up to big sides. Uh, anyway, so how do we find that angle? We have a side, side, side. So that means we need Law of cosines, part two, this one. So C is the angle here, right? Well, capital C, that's another hint. Also, they have little A, B, and C over here in the formula. That means little the sides, A, B, and C. Okay, so we'll call this angle C. That's the one we're looking for. So when I plug this in, I get. It. So it doesn't really matter if you call this A or B, but this would be side C. So it's 5 squared plus 8 squared minus 10 squared over 2 times 5 plus 8. If this is what cosine of C equals, what would we need to plug in our calculator? Cosine inverse. Of all that. Having a good time. Don't stop me now. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> okay, ninety-seven point nine. Another radio station. Two hikers follow a trail. Why don't you guys read number eight so you can get a picture for that one as well? If it's two forks, does that mean it's four paths or just? <laughs> I don't think so. Two. Does it say two forks? Yeah, it says split oh. two forks. Yeah. No. Not four paths. They just mean it forks into two paths, I think. Oh. It's the roll switch. Alex is being the responsible one. Ava's being in the trailer. Ava. Ava. <laughs> You guys get a picture? Uh, kind of. Ava, did you get a picture? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the fork's 67 degrees. Both hikers 3.5 miles an hour. All right. Well, since they're both going the same speed, if they're traveling for 3.5 miles an hour for one hour, how far do they travel? 3.5 miles. Like one of those. So it's actually an isosceles triangle. So. Yeah, you could use like what we did on number one, but you could also find this angle and use both sides. Oh my gosh, I'm so I feel so bad about that. <laughs> I thought it was a good picture. It was it was the fact that his eyes were not smiling, but his mouth was like half smiling, and it just I don't know why it was funny really? to me, but it really was. That's what you're laughing at? No, that will going I guess I'm proud of my honor roll. And then and then what's her name? Brianna. Yeah, Brianna going, Go Bestie! And I just <laughs> I lost it. She said it. The slides were so bad. Oh like my they, gosh. they messed it up by putting it on. was boring yeah. through like the last ones. Yeah. It was so yeah. funny when James' mom was like, um, if that's not good, I'll just make Brock's dad's haircut. Bro, you messed up his face. You messed up his face. I just call it the monk cut because it looks like a circle. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> okay, anyways. I'm glad someone said it. I couldn't stop staring. So, uh, you can use the tricks from number one. Like, if you draw on the altitude and split this angle in half, 33.5, and then how would we find x right here? Relative to this angle, this is the what? Relative to this angle, this is the what? Opposite. Sorry. Opposite. And this is the hypotenuse. So that would, which trig function does opposite hypotenuse? Sine. Sine of the angle, which we know, equals opposite over hypotenuse. So that would multiply by 3.5. That would give you this. And then you could double it from that. Okay, uh, number 10, why don't you guys, last one, draw that picture. Go, go, go. I'll give you uh, one minute for the picture. Eight days a week. That's a tough one. Um, I forgot about this one. Okay, do you guys know where 200 degrees is at? Like with ships and boats, this is zero. So south is 180. So 200, yeah, 200 would just be right there. Uh, it would be, you guys might have forgot this, but I had you, we drew like north south lines, like on these points, to help us figure this out. So, if you're going for 200 kilometers an hour for 1.5 hours, how far have you traveled? 300. Right, 200 times 1.5. So that would be 300 kilometers. And then, they change, so where would 340 degrees be? Almost. Well, all, yeah, almost all the way back around. 20 degrees short of 360. So it looked kind of like that. Okay, so if it's almost back to due north, so that would be like a 20 degree gap right there. Because 360 minus 340 is 20. Uh, this one is 20 degrees past south, because it was 200, which is 20 degrees past 180. So this would be 20 degrees. You guys remember alternate interior angles are congruent, so this would be 20 degrees. These lines are parallel, the north-south lines, so these would both have to be 20 degrees. All right. Uh, how far is the airport from the plane? So, oh, did it tell us how long that was? Uh, 500. You're right. Two hours, 250 kilometers an hour, two times 250, 500. So we have a side angle side. The angle is 40 degrees. So we can use the. No, that's for right triangles. We just drew the line straight up. Did you? Oh well, this is not. This no, is not a east-west line. It kind of looks like one, but I was just like, because I went probably more. Actually, it would be the other way. This would be long. Look more like that. <coughs> All right. So C squared would be like what we're looking for. I called it X over here, but uh, so.
So my A and B would be the 500 and the 300. I think I made this one a bonus on the or like chapter test. I feel like because we like ran out of time. Oh yeah, I tried that one for so long that I still got it wrong. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, and then because that's what c squared equals, that means we would have to square root all that. So that would be the answer. Boy. That sounds reasonable.